Thank you very much. Um, you folks are pretty familiar with Act 10, it's the following bill. I actually have a recent court decision, and actually the, the yesterday, just yesterday, Judge Madison ruled that he's not going to stay with the decision, so the decision stands. So currently, right now, Act 10 has been ruled unconstitutional. What does that do for you as local government? It makes your job even more difficult because of you had built your budgets on Act 10 being in existence. So again, when you go through these things and you look item by item, um, I, I really can't give you a specific answer on how Act 10, because it's not in effect right now. Do I feel that the legislature might act again um, next session? I've heard rumblings of that. The one thing I will say, um, it makes it very, very difficult is one judge has the ability to make a decision that affects the, the entire state of Wisconsin. And one judge that we, down here, didn't have the ability to vote for. Um, on the federal level, what they do is if a circuit court or an appellate court rules that uh, a, a federal law is unconstitutional, it only affects that particular district. It doesn't affect the entire country while it works its way through the court system. I think that is one thing that would give you as local government more certainty because you have already uh, built your budgets on Act 10 being in existence. So now going back and trying to undo those changes are, is very difficult. If you read the judge's decision, the judge says that he finds it unfair for employees um, to go back and to change things in the middle of the game. But I, I look at it the other way. Right now, local governments have to go back and change their budgets right in the middle of the game as well. So I wish that that judge would have stayed the decision as it worked through the court system so that we could have certainty as it worked its way up through the Supreme Court. Because I do believe the Supreme Court is going to um, take up this case. Unfortunately, it's not taken up quick enough for me uh, to give you certainty, um, like it did last year on the other part of Act 10 that they had to rule on, whether it was passed through the legislature in a fair uh, manner. So I'm hopeful as we go forward, as the new court works through this process, the briefs have been filled and written, um, that the appellate court will pick it up and that it will, will make a decision quickly and send it to the Supreme Court. Again, that doesn't give you certainty as local governments, unfortunately, but that's the answer I can give you. Representative Krugman, or Steinbrink, sorry. Thank you. Act 10, like many of the uh, things voted on this year in Madison have ended up in court. They've been very expensive to the taxpayers. They've been overturned by, by judicial uh, judges. Rule on is constitutional. And this is a shame because we could have sat down together and worked out something that would have been beneficial to everybody in the state. Wisconsin's position is sitting down to work things out. Act 10 violated that proved in the face of that Wisconsin tradition of sitting down to work things out. This was a one-sided issue pushed through by the other side. You know, when the economy was our biggest issue in this state, getting it going, unfortunately, Madison chose to deal with a lot of issues that really didn't make this state a better place to live or to bring more jobs here or to train more workers or to give more dollars to education. Act 10 kind of put an end to 50 years of labor peace in this state. There was a point in Madison when all sides were willing to sit down together and negotiate a solution that would have prevented the two years of a divided state. They refused to do that. They wanted this passed quickly. It didn't happen. And we're see living with the results of this today. Act 10 has demoralized public workers, teachers, hurt our schools, hurt our local communities, in many cases has uh, left the rest of the country wondering what's going on in Wisconsin. There was a lot of controversy over Act 10 and what should have been achieved with it. Things had to be done in Wisconsin not the way Act 10 did it. Act 10 could have been, and I don't even want to use the Act 10, we could have sat down together and came to a solution that would have made Wisconsin a better place.
would have helped everybody and actually did something for the state that would have helped us, not only with the economy, but with the morale of the public workers. Uh, and it's a shame it was done the way it is. There's a lot of complaining about the judges. The judges are doing their job. They're interpreting this as according to the Constitution. And we've seen that this has been declared unconstitutional. One of those things for Madison, once again, that was done in secret. You know, there was not much open government involved in this. Put before us on short notice. Uh, and that's not the way we do this. We usually go with the form of public hearing, public input, and sit down together and negotiate or work out if there's disagreement and come to a solution that everybody's pretty much uh, willing to live with. But that wasn't the case with that. 